Hello again, it's me in my um, St. Patrick's outfit. As you guys saw in the last video, we went together and we shopped together for this outfit. And to make the, um, the outfit match the uh, place, I got a lucky shamrock. I thought it's absolutely cute and um, hopefully it will bring me the luck that I'm hoping for. So now I'm going to place it in front of the window. Isn't that the cutest flower ever with the shamrock on the, um, on the thing here? And I think it doesn't really match the snow outside, but I think it looks cute, don't you? And the fact that it's matching my outfit. I'm so happy and I'm so proud of my cute flower. Uh, let's just hope now that I bought this and I put it in the window, no more, no more snow from now on. And um, yeah, you have to bring me the luck. And now, what I was planning for today Come with me. is to cook, actually. I also bought my favorite flowers. Uh, tulips are my fa favorite flowers. So they do not have anything to do with the today's theme, but it will bring a bit of color in my house and give me the bit of a happiness vibe you know because of the color so yeah let's just put this in water give me a moment to bring the vase to put them in and i have it right here the vase also matches my outfit. Cold water. I actually saw um, a trick online that if you add two spoons of vinegar to your flowers, they would last long, longer. But I tried this with my previous bouquet of tulips and it didn't work much. So I'm just going to leave the plain water for now. If you guys have any hints and tips how can I make my flowers last longer, I would appreciate if you could leave that in the comments. Okay, that goes in the bin and my beautiful flowers will join me in today's vlog oh my god don't they look nice a spring vibe in my house oh my god i love you okay now i decided to celebrate the saint patrick in style and I will be cooking something yummy. I will start with a, what we called a boeuf salad. The term comes from the French language. So it's a mixture of some boiled vegetables like um, potatoes, carrots, with chicken breast. And at the end, we will be adding some chopped um, pickles everything mixed with mayonnaise i'll show you the final result in a minute and then i you know there is no celebration without a cake or without something sweet and because i have a sweet tooth nothing without dessert um, i decided to cook to make a tiramisu cake to celebrate in style let's start so I have the ingredients that I'm going to put together to boil. But first we have to start peeling potatoes and peeling, cleaning the, the carrots and draining the pickles because we don't want too much water in our salad. So 
Let's start with draining the pickles first. I'm going to use this. And then this is my trick for opening jars. Yep. Let the air come out. Obviously, I'm going to give them a rinse. So, first, I'm going to take out my pan where I'm going to be boiling all the vegetables in. And a nice trick that I like to use is boiling the chicken breast together with the vegetables. So, I'm going to give it a quick rinse. Okay, a bit of hot water to warm up my hands and rinse off. Perfect. Now let's start peeling potatoes and the carrots. This is for the carrots. Oops. Okay. Carrots are done. We move to the next step, which are the potatoes. At the end, I'm going to give them a rinse and we'll put them to boil together. Okay. And because I'm going to use all of this potato, I'm going to use the packaging for the peels. I don't use the peeler for the potatoes because I think it's taking too much time. And I'm not a very patient person. I want everything to be done yesterday. And hence why I'm using the knife to peel the potatoes. So I finished peeling all the potatoes. Now we are going to give them a good rinse, but put them in a different bowl before putting them into the pot. So, carrots first. My carrots are taking a shower. So as my potatoes, then I'm gonna take them one by one and place them nicely into the uh, pot. And let them boil. They should be ready within 30 to 40 minutes. There are small details which I don't like and I usually tend to do this. Okay, and I think there was another one. Um, I don't remember which one was it. I guess this one. Details. Okay, now we are going to place all the vegetables here with the chicken breast and that's the easy part of the recipe the hard part is when you have to chop them which is not funny to do but I love this food okay water on top and let them boil
cover with a lid. Okay, ta-da! They're good to go for about 30-40 minutes. Meanwhile, we have to focus on different things. I just realized that I have a bit of um, my favorite wine left in the fridge. It's called Mayomi. It's a Pinot Noir. Um, this is not paid advertisement, by the way. I'm just showing you my favorite wine. Uh, as you probably know from previous videos, I'm a red wine girl. So, And I'm going to sit down and have a glass of wine while my vegetables are boiling and then We'll take it from there. But none of this will go smooth without a green candle burning next to me while again watching some of the some of my videos on YouTube. Cheers to you and cheers to St. Patrick. Mm. Now I can cook better, actually. Okay, let's take out from the fridge things that we are going to need later. And I am talking about the mascarpone for the tiramisu. It has to be room temperature because otherwise it's too hard to mix it. So I'm just going to leave it sit on the table at room temperature for about half an hour before I start mixing. And again, I'm not trying to advertise any products, but this is what I chose for today. One thing that we can also do is, because I let the pickle sit long enough, just going to move them into another bowl because I have a next step that I need to do. And that is taking out the uh, peas, which I probably forgot to mention about the peas. I'm using sweet peas. They are going to be mixed into the rest of the ingredients with the rest of the ingredients. Must be the wine is kicking in. If I start talking nonsense, you have to know it's the wine. It's not me. Not guilty. So they will need to go into the sieve. And actually, after I finish cooking and I'm going to be eating a bit, um, I will take the salad and the tiramisu and I'm going to visit some friends and um, we are probably going to have a party because today is Friday, so we are starting the party early. Not waiting for Saturday. The weekend has started already. Cans opened. Peas are going for a shower. And then we are gonna let them drain because like I said, we don't want any water into the salad, but at the same time, they need to be drained, you know, just in case they have some extra um, ingredients that we don't want in our salad. Like chemicals, maybe we can wash away some of the chemicals added to the can. 
I'm not a huge fan of canned food or ready-made food or frozen food. Ugh. But sometimes we have no choice, correct? And because it's not, um, it's not something that we do on an everyday basis, then it's acceptable. So we're gonna let them drain. These are going in the bin and let's start chopping. Before we need to check the status of our vegetables that are boiling. Whoa. They are boiling. Let's start chopping. The good thing about chopping these um, pickles and then the rest of the veg vegetables is that I don't have to stand and I can sit down and have a glass of wine while I do this. Um, so this is how I do it. I chop off the ends and then I slice them. So there is a change of plans. I'm not going anymore tonight to see my friends, but they are coming here, which is even better for me. Maybe one day if they are not shy, I will uh, present you my friends in one of the videos. By the way, they own the best coffee shop in upstate New York and I will dedicate one of my vlogs especially to their coffee shop. It's absolutely amazing. They import the coffee, um, the beans are green and they are roasting the, um, the coffee there and they are grinding, grinding it on the spot so they make sure the coffee is always always fresh and it smells absolutely divine. And this is the place where I buy my coffee and where I like to have a few moments of peace and quiet in their coffee shop. I am afraid with this salad, this is not something easy done. It's um, a lot of detail and dedication and why not a lot of work but the final result is going to look nice and funny at the same time it's a celebration right so we have to make it funny So this, this step is finished. Now we let's go take out the vegetables from the um, from the pot. They are ready boiled. I already put them on the side. All we have to do is take them out with this. And again, we are going to let them sit for a while to make sure they drain the excess water. We don't want too much water 
in our salad. So this is like a um, cold salad. I don't think it goes on the side. It's more like, um, let's call it a starter for like a celebration dinner. Like we usually cook this for Christmas, for Easter, for, I don't know, uh, birthdays. Whatever you, reason you have to celebrate, usually this type of um, salad is not uh, um, missing from, from the table. And because I don't have too much time, I'm going to take them outside to cool down. The first thing that I'm going to chop is the chicken breast because otherwise it's going to get dry and it's going to make it more difficult to be finely chopped. And these are our vegetables and the chicken breast all boiled and I'm going to take out to cool down. So peas are ready. I'm just gonna step them aside. And now my next step is to drain some black olives, which I'm going to use for decorating my salad at the end. I'll give it a quick rinse to this. And now I'm going to open the cans of olives. Olives are ready. And now I'm going to have to make small slices. I'll show you why at the end. I'm not gonna tell you my secret from the beginning, but I'll show you why in a minute. I said this is going to be used for decorating and I'll show you right at the end why I'm slicing the olives the way I do it. This is a bit time consuming. Obviously you don't have to do it but I just thought it's funny for when my friends arrive um, to try this. Um, let's call it... Um, a traditional food from where I'm coming from. Okay, I think this should be enough. 
if there will not be enough I will um, chop a few more along the way while I'm gonna be decorating so I'm gonna rinse this a bit for now and then I'm gonna try to see if the vegetables have cooled down so my vegetables have cooled down let's take them in and get ready to chop 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 so all the ingredients are almost ready um, so I'm going to mix them all once they are chopped but before I'm going to pour this in here and then the chopped okay on top is going to be the chicken breast the potatoes and the carrots but before I start chopping uh, I told you everything is going to be mixed with mayonnaise so I'm going to have my homemade mayonnaise mixed into this salad and for this I need to boil some eggs while my eggs will be boiling I will be start chopping let's see how many four eggs and from these four eggs I will only be using the yolk but the egg white I'm going to use it for decoration I'll show you how let them boil let's get to work like I said my olives are done and these are a few extras which I'm going to need as well as I was saying first one that gets to be chopped is the chicken breast because I don't want it dry if I were to leave it a bit longer outside it would have gotten even, even drier so we don't want that okay As you can see it's very easy to chop, the fiber is splitting out on its own. The chopping is finished now I've only uh, saved one boiled carrot and I'll show you um, at the end why it's basically used for decoration um, now we all we have to do is to add some salt um, and the homemade mayonnaise which I'm going to show you how I make it my eggs are still boiling and but meanwhile what we can do is to make the coffee uh, let it cool down to also start making the tiramisu so my potatoes and carrots are chopped and now like I said I'm going to first make the coffee for, for the tiramisu and then we are going to start making the um, the mayonnaise eggs. I believe they should be uh, fully cooked. And now I was saying I was saying earlier about uh, the coffee that I'm 
buying from my friend's coffee shop. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to use that coffee for the tiramisu. It's too good to waste it. This is a bold coffee. Um, so I want it as strong as possible when I dip my um, lady fingers into it. Oops. Okay, water and then we are going to let it sit. Obviously I'm not going to need as much. The stronger the coffee, the stronger the taste of coffee in the tiramisu. Okay. Now we're just gonna let it sit. Let it cool down and then I'm going to put the eggs under cold water. Eggs are ready. Now let's take out the mixer and this is the bowl I like to make the mayonnaise in and this is my sunflower oil. I mentioned in my previous vlogs that in my house there is only coconut and avocado oil. However, I tried last Christmas to make a mayonnaise with coconut oil and for some reason it tasted bitter and it ruined my entire thing. So now I'll go back to origins. This is the oil I grew up with so I don't know why I'm making so much fuss about it but the sunflower oil is the best oil to make mayonnaise and make it taste good. I'm gonna bring out a lemon from the fridge to have it handy. And I'm going to squeeze a bit of lemon juice in it to make it a bit more pleasant. Um, otherwise it's going to be eh, disgusting. So as you can see I'm separating the yolk from the egg whites and I'm going to use about four of them.
So my mayonnaise is ready. Come and have a closer look how nice it looks like, how fluffy it is. So the next step is to add it into the vegetables with salt. Now the biggest challenge is going to be mixing it. Obviously I'm going to save a bit, a small quantity for um, the final result. should be it and now mix it So I finished to mix it up and now we are going to put it on a nice platter. The lettuce is not usually part of the recipe but I'm going to be using it. It says it's washed and ready to eat but I don't trust it. So I'm going to wash this. Um, I have two extra, but I'm gonna use them anyway. For a split moment, I had the impression that I was making a salad, so I was just about to wash them all, but obviously I don't need that. So let's take this out of the way. Final pat dry. Okay, and let's start to work. Now the big mystery will be solved, why I sliced the um, olives the way I did it. Oops. I promise you it is not a T-Rex. And now the final touch for my decoration. Just bear with me, it's not going to take too long. Okay. I guess that's what I want. Isn't this cute? 
Look how it looks like. Ah, I'm going to eat you in your, your nose soon. This is the second time when I'm making this. So as you can see, I spent almost my entire day in the kitchen cooking. And now it's time for me to celebrate. My friends will be here soon, but I am going to try this before they arrive. So I don't want to um, spoil the entire thing. So I'm just going to go for the tail. You know, let's try the tail. As you can imagine, I'm starving after a whole day of cooking and no food. Let's dig in. Hmm. Absolutely amazing. I haven't had this since Christmas time. It was about time. Now I'm gonna finish my food and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you for watching me again. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.